Hey everyone, welcome to the video. We're breaking down tonight's MLB main slate for tonight on DraftKings, and I hope you guys had a really good day yesterday. Before we continue though, if you could leave a like, subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. Alright, anyway, let's get back into the sheet. At pitcher, we have Chris Sale at number one, 10,500. I like the savings you're going to get off the Max Scherzer and uh, Justin Verlander. Um, but the reason he's going to have the savings is because they got absolutely bombed on opening day, about 700 runs. His fastball velocity was down. But um, last year, his fastball velocity was also down to start the year, and then it gets ramped up as, as the year progresses. So that could be one reason for it. But I know his opening fastball was 89 miles per hour. And it's usually about 92. So that was a little concerning. So I have to think that's uh, baked into his price. But I'm willing to take a chance here. Uh, we know Chris Sale's got double-digit K upside every time he touch he's on the mound. And they said he's not injured, so I'm going to roll with it. And I think he's a fantastic play and a good value at 10500 Then we have Zach Granke. This is probably my favorite pitcher because it's really easy to fit him in with a stud. So that's how all your lineup should look tonight. Zach Granke plus a stud. Uh, I know he got blown up last week, but he's much better than 7600 He should be around 8000 9000 I know last year he was touching 10000 at some point. And like I said, just pair him up with the stud, and that should be how you roll tonight. And Max Scherzer, I would have him number one because I think he's the safest play and the best pitcher in the league. But the only concern here is the weather. I'm seeing 50 to 60% chance of rain from 7 to 10. So I don't know how that's going to play out. You're going to have to follow Kevin Roth on Twitter uh, for updates throughout the day because he's a meteorologist and he knows what he's talking about. So I'd recommend uh, staying up to date with that and be on the lookout because Max Scherzer is an awesome play tonight. If not, if, if they do play, it should be fine. But I think Chris Hill is my number one right now because of the price and there's no and there's no weather. So a catcher, nothing exciting, but we have Chirinos, 4,000. He hits low in the order, but uh, Miller has a allows a 343 ISO versus righties, and Chirinos has a 198 ISO versus righties. So I like the matchup, and it's a high Vegas total and a good park for hitting. So nothing wrong with Chirinos. Omar Narva Narvaez. Uh, last time we played him, he was cheaper, and he hit a home run. So let's hope that happens again. He's 3300 now. His price is getting a little bit up there, but uh, he hits decently high in the order, and he gets the lefty versus righty matchup, and the Mariners have been raking, so no problem with that. And Jonathan Lucroy, 3300 same price as uh, Narva Narvaez. He hits decently high in the order as well. I think he's projected at 6 right now, and he has the platoon advantage, and he's it's a decent over-under game, so should be some offense in there. Then at first base, Justin Smoke, this guy keeps burning us, and I'm starting to hate him. But they get a great matchup with Andrew Kashner tonight, and he, he allows a 230 ISO to lefties, and Smoke's better from the left side of the plate because he's a switch hitter. So no problem going with Smoke again, but I understand if you don't want to because he's been killing me too. And Billy McKinney on the same team, 3,800. He's eligible at first base and outfield, and he should be leading off, and I like the stack tonight. And so another lefty versus Kashner. And then we have Yandy Diaz, 3,400. He's projected to lead off, and he has over a 200 ISO versus Freeland's main pitch, which is the slider. So I like that. And I realize I spelled that wrong. And, but, uh, and he also has the platoon advantage. So righty versus lefty. And then second base, Jose Altuve is the number one, but he's really expensive at 5,200. It's just the highest total on the slate, and Miller gets crushed by righty. So no problem going with Altuve. Uh, Robinson Cano, I really like him at second base tonight, 3,900. Urena gives up a lot of hard contact versus lefties, and I just really like Cano tonight. And Kike Hernandez, 3,900. He's the same price as Cano. Uh, he's he's going to be leading off versus a lefty, Madison Bumgarner, and he has four home runs versus Matt Bum in his career. So some good history there for those of you who like BVP. And third base, Alex Bregman. I think he's the obvious number one. The price is up there at about 5,000. Again, just love the Astros tonight, and Bregman is the best Astro. So, you have to if you're going to stack the Astros, you have to include them. Just wouldn't make sense not to. Then we have uh, Justin Turner at 4,100. It's just a turn Turner versus lefties. He's really good versus lefties, and he's got four home runs versus Mad Bum as well, like just like Kike. And then uh, Raphael Devers, 4,100. I just like the Sox versus Fires tonight, and he should be hitting, hitting near the top of the order. I think they had him projected at third right now, so no problem going with that. Lefty versus righty matchup. And then a shortstop, Bregman, we already went over. Zach Cozart, 3,700. He should be leading off, and he's got a 240 ISO versus lefties, so I have no problem if you want to go there. It's a nice price point. And then at Carlos Correa at 4,600, just another Astro righty, and he actually hits righties better than lefties. So Then at the expensive outfield, J.D. Martinez, I really, really like him tonight, 5,300. Uh, he's 7 for 14 with two home runs versus fires, for again, for you BVP lovers. 
and Fires gives up a ton of power to righties. He's going to see a lot of fastballs, and JD's got a 315 ISO versus right-handed pitching. So I think JD is in a great spot tonight. Mm-hmm. And Mookie Betts at 5,500. It's just the same reasons I like JD. Just doesn't have that history, but Mookie Betts is awesome. So no problem if you want to go there. Uh, and Mike Trout, we have to put him up here because he's 5,600. And I he's been so high-owned and he hasn't homered yet. I feel like no one's going to be on him tonight. And that means he's going to go off because that's just how fantasy works. So no problem if you want to go Mike Trout because he should be lower owned tonight. And then in the mid-range outfield, I know George Springer's not really mid-range, but he's in the 4,000s, and I really like him tonight. He had a leadoff home run last night. And just give me all those Astro bats. I like the price. And Michael Brantley, this might be one of my favorite ba- uh, bats tonight. Uh, 4,500 is a good price point. And Miller's bad versus lefties too, as well as righties. And Brantley is one of the game's elite contact hitters, so he should bat clean up. And I absolutely love Michael Brantley tonight. I'd make it a priority to get him in your lineups. And then Brandon Nimmo at 3,900. He should lead off, and Urena gives up some hard contact versus uh, lefties, like I said. And Nimmo has a 248 ISO versus right-handed pitching, so I really like Nimmo. Then in the value outfield, I couldn't really find anything I liked, so I just put McKinney down here again, and we already went over him, so he's eligible there. And then for the example lineup, I thought I'd just put my core plays in because I kind of like doing that instead. So we have Granky and Sale. Sale for right now. Uh, make sure you know. Uh, make sure you get some information on how Scherzer is going to play out. And I also don't mind Verlander, so not, no problem with that. Just make sure uh, you get Granky in. And then I like McKinney or Smoke. Really, he could have went both places. McKinney's eligible in outfield. And then second base, I really like Cano because you get the nice savings off of Altuve. And then Michael Brantley, I said I really like him tonight. And J.D. Martinez, I'm really like tonight as well and then right above me you can see the vegas sheet got some good information on there impactful weather we have the phillies and nats game i already went over that and the top stacks are gonna be the astros the blue jays and they get a frowny face because they've been really bad lately but it's a good matchup so but if they can't do it tonight just i don't even know what to say and then also the red Sox versus mike fires so we can look at play iq again i know some of you like that uh, let me find it computer okay so Shelby Miller as I said I love the Astros tonight if you look at his uh versus right-handed pitching he's giving up a 343 ISO over 90 mile per hour exit velocity which is extremely high a massive and I mean massive 541 Woba and as you can see left-handed pitching is bad too and then he's giving up a ton of hard contact and I think they're going to smash him tonight, and it's a good hitter's park, so no problem going with the Astros. They're going to be chalky, but it's for good reason. Uh, the Red Sox versus Fires. As you can see, Fires gives up a lot of hard contact and the high ISO and high Woba to uh, right-handed pitching, I mean, right-handed batters, and this lineup can crush that. Uh, Mookie Betts, Ben Attendi. I know I don't have Ben Attendi listed, but if you're going to stack the uh, the Red Sox, you have to include Ben Attendi. Ben, ben Attendi. Uh, Devers and JD with obviously the best numbers. <clears throat> I wouldn't even mind if you went Bogarts as well. And yeah, the Mets. I like some of the lefties here. Uh, Nemo, 248 ISO. I said uh, Cano, not the highest ISO, but he's got good numbers overall versus uh, right handed pitching. And as you can see, Urena he has really bad splits versus not really bad, but has worse splits uh, towards left handed hitters. Gives up a ton of hard contact here. So that's why I like those guys. And Toronto, uh, yeah, gosh, Andrew Kashner is really bad. So I'm telling you, if the Toronto Bats can't do it tonight, I don't know who they're going to do it against. 5.552 XFIP, low strikeout rate, tons of hard contact to left-handed pit, uh, batters, 230 ISO, 365 Woba, and just bad numbers overall for everything. I really like the Blue Jays tonight, but they've really been burning us. But that might just lower their ownership. Uh, so I don't wouldn't mind if you use Gritchick. I know I don't have him listed. Uh, Drury's fine. Justin Smoke's probably one of my favorite plays of the of the Blue Jays, and I really like McKinney because he's going to be leading off. And then, yeah, that's probably it for that. And really, I think that's all I'm going to show you. I got to get out of here and eat lunch. I'm starving. All right. So anyway, if you have any questions, you can comment below. And if you, uh, again, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that and good luck today.